I play Amanda Andrews, who um, was Carl Hickman's partner in New York before he had the injury that he had and came over to Europe. I, um, we were partners for a long time. I, my character holds a lot of um, guilt over what happened to him. I wasn't at, I wasn't there the day, I wasn't backing him up the day that he was injured. And um, we have a very intimate relationship as I can only imagine two partners, two police partners would naturally have. I, I think almost uh, more intimate than a married couple probably, just because of the intense things that they would go through together. It was very easy for me um, as an actor to come in and do this because it's first of all really well written, the character. Um, I think it really helps when it's being written by someone who was a cop, Ed Bernero was a policeman, and has a talent for writing. And then working with, um, with Bill has been like, kind of effortless for me. I, I can't quite explain it. Um, but it's been one of those experiences for me where it just sort of uh, feels so natural to be talking to him. I feel like we have known each other forever and it's just really easy. The chemistry that we have just as people is just effortless and, and easeful. So it's been really, um, really great for me. A lot of times in these kinds of shows, it's difficult because the lines are often very um, expositional and that's really not my forte so it's been lovely to walk into a show and just have a lot of character a lot of layers I feel like there's a lot of of subtext going on all the time and you know there's a challenge in this kind of thing too where I, I didn't know where the character was going I just knew an idea of who she was where she came from and I but I didn't know what was gonna happen and you kind of have to just have real faith and trust unless you're really controlling and then you have to know. And I, I, I tend to just let things unfold. And I've been really happy with how the characters unfolded and how you've seen, um, you get to see Amanda and Carl's relationship on many levels and layers. She carries that guilt and that deep grief. I think she has really huge grief that it went down the way that it did. You know, I, I can, you know, and to see his character go down the way he did and to be, you know, um, my character has a, has a line where he, I say, you know, how have you been? And he says, oh, you know, you're not doing as much morphine. And she says, yeah, that's probably a good thing. And, you, could, you know, seeing your partner go down in that way um, and ultimately leave and, you know, they've had no contact and, you know, these are two people that saw each other every day, you know, knew each other's lives intricately. I, I think that would be really a huge, like, who am I, you know, without that. Um, I mean, and all of this was, you know, it's not in the scenes, but it's all underneath in that. I'm fortunate to have a little bit of interaction with, with Donald's character, who I adore as an actor, so it's been such a pleasure to look into his eyes and have that acting, you know, those moments with him. Other than that, it's pretty much just Bill and I. Most of my scenes are... I have some scenes with the whole group. Um, those scenes are usually just informational, you know, gathering, coming together, giving that information for storyline. But all of my character stuff really is with, with Bill. I love working with Bill. It's been a true pleasure for me. Uh, I could work with only Bill. He's just, you know, he's just, he's a good actor for me to work with. We have a, I, you know, I just, like I said earlier, it's effortless to work with him for me. Yeah, he's such a good actor. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd worked with him before, or I'd, I don't think we had any lines together in a movie um, a few years ago. So, yeah, it was just really, I think, you know, you m mentioned... Bill Fickner's name to anyone in the business and everyone says what a great actor he is. He's, he's very talented. Coming to Europe to do this arc, you know, I've come three times and it's been a real, a real gift, I think, for me and my family. I brought my family one time and 
it's good to get out of your routine and out of your, um, you know, out of your life and to see the world. I traveled a lot in my early 20s in Europe. I modeled all over Europe and lived in Spain, lived in Belgium, lived in France, and I hadn't been back to Europe except I did, well, I've done some movies there and I've promoted movies in France and stuff, but to come and, you know, be in the culture again, to walk the streets, to, you know, um, I'm simple in what I enjoy. I like to get a good coffee and I like to find one restaurant that I can go to all the time and get a feeling for a place. And, um, yeah, as soon as I flew over, I think I landed in Holland. As soon as I landed in Holland, I just felt that shift. And I was like, ah, I remember this. I remember it's so radically different than where I'm living right now. I live in Los Angeles right now where I'm in my car all the time, um, never walking. And I'm, I love to be walking and um, it's been really nice. Really have loved it. It's so beautiful and just the culture and um, it's pretty. It's just such a beautiful city.